I will break down how you can connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat in just three simple steps. And I will guide you step by step. So I will show you how you need to set up the ad in Facebook Ads Manager, how you can connect that ad to a specific automation in ManyChat, and the five best practices when connecting a Facebook ad to ManyChat. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Joran and I'm the founder of Chatomize. And at Chatomize, we are inspiring over 50,000 people every month to create chat automations that generate more leads, boost your revenue and reduce costs. And we are working with businesses from small to large and in any industry. So if you just follow the steps in this tutorial, it will work for your business as well. So the first step that you need to do is we need to create a new ad campaign. So we can just go to adsmanager.facebook.com and then here we can click on create a campaign and then we need to determine the campaign objective. And if you want to connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat, you can only use the traffic objective, the engagement objective or the sales objective. You cannot use the leads objective because with the leads objective, you actually need to optimize for leads and that's not what you want to do with this kind of ad because you want to optimize for conversations. So I actually recommend going with traffic or engagement. So in this video, I'll just go with traffic and then we can click on continue. And I will just choose for manual traffic campaign and click on to continue. And in this video, I will not explain how you need to set up all the ads and all the ad sets and ad settings. I will just show you how you can connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat. So here we are on the campaign level and on the campaign level, we actually don't need to do anything. So we can just click on next and then we go to the ad set level. So in the ad set level, it's important that the conversion is set to messaging apps and you want the performance goal to maximize the number of conversations. So that's under other goals. You need to click on maximize the number of conversations. And it's important that you only select Messenger. You can also select Instagram and WhatsApp, but I actually recommend setting up separate ads for this. So if you want to connect a Instagram ad to ManyChat, I actually recommend using a separate campaign. So in this case, just go with Messenger and then this can all be set, but you can just click on next. And then here's the step where we're going to connect uh, a Facebook ad to ManyChat. So what we need to do now first is we first need to create a ManyChat automation. So if we go to ManyChat, then we can just create a new automation. Click on new automation here. Click on start from scratch. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to rename this flow because the name of the automation will appear in Facebook Ads Manager. So I'll just call this Facebook Ads free ebook. So let's say we do a Facebook ad where we're giving away a free ebook. So we'll rename it. Then we can add a trigger. So the trigger will be user clicks a Facebook ad. And then we can just click on save. And what's really important is that you first create your complete funnel and then you're connecting it to a Facebook ad. Because if you would do it right now, Facebook Ads Manager will not find your flow because your flow doesn't have any contents in it. So it's very important you first create the complete content of your flow and then you're going to connect it to the Facebook Ads Manager. So let's say we're giving away free ebooks. So then we do Messenger and I will just copy the text from my second screen. So this will be, are you ready to skyrocket your Instagram engagement, generate more leads and increase your revenue? Just click the button below and you will get a free guide. And when they click on this button, and this will be yes, send it over, then they will get the free guide. So let's say here, free guide, chatomize.com. And to be clear, normally this will be a complete chat funnel. But in this video, I just want to show you how you can create the connection between a Facebook ad and ManyChat. So once you have created your complete flow and you clicked on set live, then if we go back to Facebook ads manager, then what you need to do is you need to refresh this. And then if you scroll down, then here under message template, you need to select partner app and then you need to click on select flow and then select many chat and then select your message flow. So in our case, that will be Facebook ad free ebook. And then you will already see what it will be sending, but I actually recommend previewing it in Messenger. So we can just click on preview in Messenger. And now it has been sent to Messenger. So if I just go to messenger.com, 
Then here you will see that it says, are you ready to skyrocket your Instagram engagement, generate more leads and increase your revenue? Just click the button below. When you click on this button, it will send the message that we have been setting. So that is working correctly. So once you've done this, we can basically click on finish and then you can just publish your ad. And that's it. That's how you basically connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat in just three simple steps. And before I'm going to end this video, I just want to give you the five best practices when connecting a Facebook ad to ManyChat. So the first important thing is that a Facebook ad that is connected to ManyChat only works with traffic, engagement, or sales objective. All the other objectives don't work. So only use these when you try to connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat. The second thing is that if you connected a Facebook ad to ManyChat and the Facebook ad is active, you cannot change anything. So if you want to change the flow or you want to disable the trigger, what you actually need to do is disable the ad, then do all the changes that you want to do. Then when you did all those changes, then activate the ad again. You cannot change the flow of your ManyChat automation while the ad is active. Then the third best practice that is really important is that you say in the copy of your Facebook ad that people are going to Messenger. And this is because people expect to go to a lead form or they expect to go to a landing page. Using a Messenger conversation is not that usual yet. So it's really important to set the right expectations already in the Facebook ad and mention that they go to Facebook Messenger. Then the fourth best practice is that it's really important that the Facebook ad copy is aligned with the first message in Messenger. And I've seen many businesses doing this wrong. So let's say you would do a Facebook ad about giving away a free ebook. What I've seen many businesses doing is, hey, you can get a free ebook, just click on the button. Then they click on that button and then they say in Messenger, hey, do you want to get started with a button that says get started. And that is just like misalignment between the Facebook ad and the first message in Messenger. What you actually want to do is that if you're giving away a free ebook in your ad, then you must say in the first message in Messenger, you must say, okay, do you want to get the free ebook? If yes, just click the button below. That is good alignment between the Facebook ad and ManyChat. And that's really important because it really hurts the conversions that you will be getting from your Facebook ad. And the last thing that you need to do is you need to test out conversations. And what I mean by that is that you need to do the same ad with a lead form or landing page and the same ad with a messenger conversations. And I've had clients in the past where we did the same ad, but the cost of lead forms or the cost of landing pages were less than the cost of using messenger conversations. Like the cost of using messenger conversations were just higher and then they chose to go with lead forms, which makes sense. But there are also some benefits of using Facebook Messenger because we already know some information about the person. We already know the first name, we already know the last name, so you don't have to ask that information again. And also with the Facebook Messenger conversation, we can retarget those users for free. So what you would normally do is you would, for example, send them to a landing page and then you would use a retargeting ad to get them back and retarget them basically. And with a messenger conversation, you can actually retarget them for free. So for example, you can give them a free ebook and then after 20 hours, you can ask, okay, did you download the ebook? Did you like it? Can I help you with anything else? Do you want to buy one of my pay products? Like you can do much more. You can retarget them for free and that's not possible with using a lead form or a landing page. But that's it. That's how you can connect a Facebook ad to ManyChat. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on connecting Facebook ads to ManyChat or using ManyChat in general, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.